Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in Pretoria, South Africa with me, Gustav Miller, as your host. In this video, I'm going to give a summary, just the highlights of the reviews that I did the past three days on whiskies matured exclusively in ex-sherry casks. So the first one was the Macallan 12-year-old double cask and the Tomdu 10-year-old and the Ben Riak 12-year-old sherry wood. My summary of the Macallan double cask, 12-year-old, matured in American oak and European oak seasoned with sherry from the Jerez region in Spain. So quite different than ex-sherry casks. Bottled at 43% and my summary for the Macallan 12 year old would be creamy, thick, rich, sherried, dried fruit and chocolate. And that whiskey for me, the Macallan 12 year old double cask at the best nose, best nose. That was a, a whiskey nose for me for sure. And I paired that one with chocolate Petit Fours and that's the pairing that just gave me goosebumps, something that doesn't happen that often. The second whiskey was the Tomdu 10 year old. Now the Tomdu was matured in X sherry casks from Spain, bottled at the same ABV as the Macallan 43% and my summary for that whiskey, caramelized fruits in spicy sherry syrup. That would be my summary for the Tamdu. I paired it with a caramelized pecan nut pie and it worked very well. I think also because apart from the caramelized pecan nuts in that mini pie, there was also a date and raisin filling and that made the pairing work very, very well. And the last third whiskey that I reviewed was the Ben Riak 12 year old Sherry Wood matured in ex Oloroso and ex Pedro Jimenez Sherry Buds and then married together bottled at 46% so slightly higher than the previous two slightly higher than the Macallan and the Tomdu and I must say one must be careful to underestimate the alcohol percentage influence in your tasting experience. The higher the ABV, my personal experience, the better the flavors. Uh, I mean, you can imagine if you dilute the whiskey from cask strength to 40% for bottling or 43%, you're also diluting the flavors. So the Benriak 46%. My summary for the Benriak would be chocolate fruit cake drizzled with spicy sherry and with a bit of vanilla custard. I'm also seeing that piece of fruit cake drifting in vanilla custard. That is the picture that I'm having for that Benriak 12 year old. My food pairing for that whiskey was coffee chocolate dessert and it connected fantastically with the chocolate and the coffee notes in the flavor profile of the Penriac whiskey. My favorite for me personally at the end of the day would be the Macallan 12 year old double cask. That's my favorite when comparing these three whiskies matured exclusively in sherry casks. The other two very decent whiskies, but the Macallan 12 for me just a tiny bit better in all respects and that's what I'm having right here. So from me, Slancher, I hope to see you again tomorrow when I start with a brand new series, whiskey tasting and food pairings. Cheers!